Hello, my lovely people. How are we doing today? I hope everyone is doing okay. For today's tutorial, we're going to be making a simple cow kaftan without sleeve. And I have about four yards of this chiffon fabric. Okay. All I did was to remove a few inches from my actual length because I want to be adding this one at the lower part. Okay. And then maybe at the neckline. So I removed about this length. About this length from my length. This was originally my full length, but because I want to add this one at the lower part, I had to cut it off so that I'll be placing this one in place of the one I removed. I hope it is clear. Okay. So this one is two yards and the back one is going to be two yards as well. Thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate your time on my channel. And if you are new, feel free to subscribe and also tap on the notification bell. Quickly, we are going to the floor to do the cutting. This should not take much of our time. Okay, so I'll be folding this fabric into two this way. Into two. And then I'll neatly arrange it on the floor. Okay, so now having neatly laid it out on the floor, I've also made some markings. Okay, now this is my shoulder line. The second one is from the nape of my neck or from my shoulder to my hip. Okay, and then this last line is still from the nape of my shoulder to my knee but not exactly on top of my knee a little bit above my knee say like about three inches above my knee that is this one okay having done this what i'll do first is to impute my shoulder measurement my normal shoulder measurement of eight inches and then three inches for shoulder slope and the eight inches i'm coming down by one inch also for shoulder slope I'm trying to be careful because this is the chiffon fabric Okay, having done this now, you decide the length of the cow you want to give. Okay, and when you do that, you extend this line, starting from this one inch here. Okay, now for my own shoulder, I want to use 48 inches. Then I added one inch extra for food. Okay, that's why you have this marking here. All right. Now the next thing I will do is to find out the midpoint between my shoulder to my hip and my shoulder to this second line. When you discover that, you mark, you have, I have 13 and a half inches. Into two will give us 
So this is the midpoint between this and this. Okay. Now on my shoulder to a little bit above my knee, I'm going to be putting my hip measurement plus few inches added. My hip is 46 inches into 4 is 11.5, which is here. So this one is the extra inches I added about 4 inches, okay? This is just to allow me to work very well, okay? So the next thing I will do is to start from here, curve it to meet this. And then I will take this all the way down to the hemline, including this one. I hope you remember, we are still going to be adding this one here. Okay? So it's going to include this one. I hope you get that. Alright. So I will take it down. So when I add this one, I still continue to take it down okay now for my armhole for my armhole i'll be using 10 inches which is here so the next thing to be done now will just be to Connect from this point this way to meet here. I hope you get that. But I also want to make sure you are still carrying this measurement along. Okay. Okay, so you should have something like this. Now, this is optional. If you want yours to be fuller than this, you can still do so. Okay. So the next thing will be to now put the neck width and the neck volume. For this, I'll be using four inches for the neck width. And for the net volume, I'll use three and a half inches. All right. So now we are done. Remember, this is just one piece. Okay. The front and the back neck is going to be the same thing. So when I'm done cutting this one, I'll still use it to cut the back piece because I persist it. Okay. So now I'll get my scissors and cut it out. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, so back to our table. I have cut both the front and the back. Okay, you see there are now two. All right. 
and then I'm going to be putting this at the center of the front piece okay it's just going to be straight this way at the center at the neck that's from the neck down to wherever it ends all right so now what i will do is to first of all join this lower part with this conclude the cutting like i said i removed few inches from this fabric in order to enable me add this one to it it is still my floor length measurement okay so now when i'm done with it i will join this one at the center maybe when i'm doing it i will show you how i do it and then i will tape the neckline and then join the shoulder when I get here, I stop, okay? And then I'll continue from here. Just follow the curve down to the hemline. Okay, so as you can see, I have joined the lower part, okay? And also for the front piece, I've carefully identified the midpoint. You can see the chalk I marked here. That's the center, okay? And so for the strip we earlier cut, I'll just attach it like so, making sure it falls at the center that I already marked out, okay? Here you need to be careful so that you don't end up putting it in a way that when you wear it, it will be shifting to one side or the other. Okay. So now, having arranged it, excuse me, neatly, I'll just use my pin to hold it. And then after this, I will now run my stitch along it to stitch it against this one. Okay, when I do that, I will then either first of all, tape the neckline, then join them at the shoulder, or I will join the shoulder, tape the neckline, whichever one comes first, there's no problem. Okay. Now you see it. I've taped the neckline and also joined at the shoulder the next thing i would do would be to while we were cutting we made available 10 inch inches here for the armhole okay so i'm going to now fold this fabric let me show you what I mean. So this is my 10 inches. Or better still, let me use 9 inches. This is my 9 inches. And I added 1 inch for food. Okay. So let's say this is my 1 inch. Okay. So now I'm going to fold from this point. Alright, so I'm going to fold from this point round to this other notch, okay? When I do that, I will then turn it over and then from where my folding ended, close it up down to the hemline. Right, I've joined them at the two sides. All I did was just to follow the curve. I just followed the curve 
and join them. I'll just finish up the hemline and that will be all. Alright, so we've come to the end of the tutorial for today. I finished the hemline. All that is left now is to give it a very beautiful press. But unfortunately, Nigerian factor has set in. But I'll do that later. I'll just go ahead to try it on for all of us to see. So this here is the end result of our tutorial for today. Okay, you can see the cow dropping. Assuming it were to be a heavy material, you will see the layers of the cow. I hope you can see the layers. I hope you can see it. As you mean it's a heavy material, it will come out heavier and finer. Please try this at home. This is very, very cool and comfortable to wear. And I hope you have subscribed. If not, please hit the red icon to subscribe and also tap on the notification bell. Like I would always say, be nice to someone who has no way of repaying you back. Okay? If you want to be truly happy in life, Show kindness to everybody that comes along your way without expecting a return. Till we meet in my next tutorial, I'm very sure you will take care of yourself. Stay safe, keep your head high, and be creative. Bye!